It is a pantheon of concrete and steel. It is a city that rises defiantly in the delta, alongside the father of waters. It is the humidity of autumn evenings that drapes stately oaks and broad magnolias. It is haunted, and it is wild. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Rowe. Tiger Stadium, the most famous landmark in Louisiana, a place where most young boys grow up dreaming about Saturday afternoons and nights in Death Valley. Most, but not all. It's a letter most kids would die for. Jamari A. Roscoe has gotten hundreds of them from virtually every football program in America. Jamari A., I want to personally congratulate you. But this letter is special. The author is someone Jamari A. knows well. I am so excited that you are a part of the Tiger family. Less miles. So, how fast are you? For the last time around a uh, 40, I ran a 4.6. Oh, just... Consistently, he runs 4.6. That's way fast. Yeah. Okay, and then now, just think about this. You're young. He first met Les Miles two and a half years ago, the summer after his sensational sophomore year. It began with this play, Evangel Christian against Texas Power Lake Travis. In the stands that day, a group of Texas coaches scouting an offensive tackle at Travis. Will Muschamp was the defensive coordinator for Texas at the time. And they came back and they said they didn't know who this guy from Evangel was. Said that he made every play against an offensive tackle that we had committed to come to Texas. Find out who he is. Called Byron, and we find out he's a sophomore. He led the nation in sacks that year. <laughs> Impressive stuff. 26 sacks. It tied a national high school record, and it put Jamari A. Roscoe on everybody's radar, including Coach Miles' 10-year-old son. Ben. Well, he thinks he's going to play defense, right? Just between the legs. <laughs> Don't tell him. He's an offensive guard. Right? Just like his dad. Okay? But now, I said, I said, as a junior, this was, uh, so I said, he set a national record for, uh, for sacks. I said, how many, Dad? I said, 26. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is, very few can do what Jamarie does. He possesses a unique combination of size, 6'4", 250, speed. He's run a 4'6", 40, and athleticism. I first saw it as a sixth grader, completely dominating the line of scrimmage, spending most of his time in opponents' backfields. When we needed him to, he could catch it and run. By his eighth grade year, Jamarie is so good, he becomes a starter on the Evangel Christian varsity football team helps take them to their 12th trip to the Superdome. In fact, becomes the first eighth grader in Louisiana high school history to start in a state championship game. But as good as it was on the field, on the streets back home, it was hard, very hard. There were times when there was no food. We went to sleep hungry. There's been days that, um. We didn't have no, I come home to a dark house. I've had, he has had numerous threats on his life. And this kid pulls up, I came in the house and the next thing I knew I heard gunfire. My heart just dropped. I heard people screaming. And all I could think of my babies. The boy was shooting. An AK-47 at him to have my kids shot at and to be a parent and not be able to do anything is the most horrible feeling that a parent can go through. For Jamarie, the experience crests with a dramatic morning in chapel at Evangel. I remember that day at chapel like yesterday because I cried so hard that day at chapel. I don't know why I was crying, but it just, like, the Holy Spirit just took over me and it just had me crying in front of everybody. It changes Jamarie, sharpens his focus. He decides he will not be just another product of the streets. His destiny is here. 